so now let me just minimize this for now. Uh, this is my Microsoft Teams environment. As you can see, I'm logged in. Um, I have my activity in here, right? I got my chat. Um, you can create your teams and all that kind of wonderful stuff. Um, typically what will happen is that when you are in Microsoft and you go and look, uh, you won't, you will see a call and a video uh, button in here, but the text message button uh, won't be there. So reason why I got two is that I have two uh, integrations uh, right now. Um, but in terms of the normal behavior from team now i can call anybody inside my team and do a video chat with them via teams the challenge comes if i have to call somebody outside how do i tie that into uh, my system keep track of those calls and make it as seamless as to the end user right because at the end of the day that's what we all striving for is to make the life of the user more productive so they can be more productive and then be more effective in business right now, as you will see, if I click on this, let's say I want to call Gary, right? If I click on this, it says, hey, what do you want to do? I have two options now since I've done the integration. And this integration piece is pretty simple. Um, all you have to do is go to our Business Connect website, which is a public-facing uh, website. If you scroll towards the middle of the screen, under Downloads, you will see that you have the Office 365 uh, integration here right now I have downloaded that office 365 integration it's just a small application that you download and once you download it it gives you a amongst all the other ones right you can have it for your standalone Microsoft Outlook client too we can go into that but once I download this for office 365 I come in here and I get this dialer now, this dialer, all I did was I logged in from the settings. Uh, right now, I'm logged in. If you log out, uh, it'll ask you for your phone number, and I'll log in, and it will become a dialer for me. A couple options in here, right? Looks pretty similar to if you have, you can see things like, okay, history of your calls, right? If anybody sends a message, uh, voicemail, or faxes. Uh, in here, um, I have my Outlook context link to in here, so I can see all of them. But what I'm in this is that hey, do you want to set Microsoft Teams as your default application when you're making audio calls? So if I toggle this, watch what happens to this particular button over here. So if I toggle this on, it becomes green. That's now right. what it is if I make a call it won't give me an option it will just use business connect to make a call let's do a call i will just use that as default and in this just want to make sure my settings are correct uh, yes we'll go into these in a bit uh, now when i call this it is going to call gary now it's placing a call you might pick up you might not but that is the behavior that you see from a call perspective now, uh, if you have your headset connected to your computer, you will just use it as your phone and the call is completed with one click and you're chatting with that other person. Right? I can also go into my contacts and let's say I am looking for Mark. Right? Or give me, he's one of the SEs. I can just go in here and call and it will dial Mark. So, right? Now, as you can see, Mark is not part of my domain, my Microsoft. If I go search in here, I don't find him. There are other Marks, but not Mark Pork, the sales engineers here in Toronto. So right away, I can call anybody within my organization or outside from this integration. You have not put any on-site, on-prem equipment, no SIP trunks with this right from your side. All I've done here is downloaded a piece of software, uh, logged in with my Business Connect credentials, and I got full connectivity uh, to the PSC. And those are the enhancements. So like for this 19.3, so 2019 release three, 
we launched the Microsoft mm -hmm. Teams. In uh, 20.1, so 2020, first release, we are launching the Microsoft integration for the desktop version of Teams. So we do do the Sorry, releases hold on. fairly. This is where, where, where there's a ton of really value of working with Business Connect or Ring Central because the, the actual solution continues to evolve. Um, so there's, you know, obviously the integration with the web browser is, is of value to you, but we will have the integration with the desktop in a few months from now. And again, that comes at absolutely no cost to you. I mean, it is, it is definitely coming. I was talking with actually product marketing yesterday and um, we had a presentation uh, on that. So it is uh, on the roadmaps. If you require it right now, we do have a third party integration that can give you full Teams engine on the desktop, but then it's a chargeable service. Pretty much the soft one, you don't even have to mm -hmm. download a soft one if you don't want to. You can just use this integration that is fully. Mm -hmm. um, like, for example, some users might say that, okay, I don't want to use browser or my computer to complete the call. What you can do is you can initiate the call from here, but you can switch it to your Business Connect phone. So it will ring on your phone or any phone pick it up and then it'll complete the uh, complete the call and you have that flexibility to save that option uh, in this right which is pretty yeah. handy is that now if I want to call somebody I just look them up and dial rather mm -hmm. than looking the number up dialing it and okay what was that redial you know so we do have we do have on the phones we do can do speed dials so let's say you got four or five year contacts that you call all the time, mm -hmm. or even ten, you can have them display yep. on your phone. You press on one, and they just mm -hmm. dial that number out. So we do have that functionality on the uh, on the Polycom phone. Um, but I I just find this really really handy if I have to go in here and just go look up the name dial, and it just connects to my phone. But the the beauty of this is now it gives you the ability to send a text message to right from here if you want to right to the other person's business connect number. So it will show up in either as in my messages here, mm -hmm. right? Uh, or I can have a notification to so show up on my mobile application mm -hmm. to have on my cell phone, right? Or if I have a soft phone, I can see it in the, in the soft phone. Or if I want to be notified via email, I can just have it send up in my email. Now that's, that's the, 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 um, the, um, the overview and the gist of the integration, again, it's very simple. All you do is download a dialer, log into it, it becomes your phone, and you can choose the default. I can do the same for videos too, that if I want to use Business Connect all the time for my video, video so see if it goes blue, if I want to invite Gary, I can just press this, and it will send a Business Connect meeting invite. To, um, to Gary and just jump on meetings like we're doing uh, right now. Want to use Teams? I can do that. I can use my Teams. Um, and again, you have the flexibility to call out uh, whichever device that you want to. Um, if you are an agent, I mean, you can log in and out of the call queues from here um, and gives you an interface with the, with the um, to dial any 10-digit number that you want to. I mean, from a user standpoint, I've used, I've not told you around, used Skype for Business and other platforms here at, at TELUS as well. It's very seamless. I feel like I would lose very little time in trying to connect with someone or if I'm trying to share a sales contract or if I'm trying to reach someone in a different department. To have it all centralized, it saves a lot of time, as, you know, as opposed to fidgeting with your phone or looking someone up. Or what I usually sometimes do is, I have to go into someone's email, look at their signature, see what their phone number is, and it's like an extra step. So to have this all here in front of you, that's pretty good. What we can do is I'm showing you my Outlook right now. So this is my Outlook integration, which again, you, I downloaded it from the, uh, the main website, which is this, right? Yeah, right? And once I log into this integration, I'm presented with the data which looks pretty similar to what I've shown you before. Now, for example, if I want to call Anne-Marie, who's one of the account managers uh, or directors here in Toronto, I can just click on it. See, Vince, that's your solution. Highlight it and then just go call and it will uh, place a call. I'll hang up. That's pretty cool. So that's how easy it is. And cool. the same thing integration over here is that I can change the calling 
to whichever way um, mm -hmm. I want. And I can schedule my audio video conferencing right from here. Uh, again, my calendars and for invites, I have my Outlook calendar. So it tells you which one's your Outlook uh, contacts and which ones are not. Right? As you can see, I got tons. So for example, for, for the routing that you want to say in here, that yeah. you want to do uh, your cell phone. So, okay, I'm gonna do, save it. So let's say I'm trying to call Pepe, right? And this, so <laughs> seven two two. that's the one, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now I'm placing a call to Pepe. Now what happens, see this, will ring your cell phone now, yeah. right? Should be ringing pretty soon. Now, if you answer it, it will connect a call to Pepe. So that's that's how it behaves. Let me just make sure that I take it off. Uh, but yeah, in terms of that behavior, that is the behavior that you will see, a custom phone, right? Yeah, as you said, oh, just a couple of clicks and boom, you're done. That's the, that's the Outlook integration. And again, for the audio conferencing, if you just want to do, we have all these numbers for international. Um, you can just do that from here, from your meeting app. Ye Canada and US is free. Everywhere else, there is charge. Once you get used to dialing, like having a cell phone kind of experience, uh, and go just search a contact from here and dial it, then not much with the presence and also the um, the speed dials. Uh, but still, there are people, especially like on the receptionist console, mm -hmm. so they just want to transfer with the yep. with the extensions rather than just remembering a whole ten-digit number of the person.